Do you have a dog that hates water and bath time? I sure do. This is Boss, and I'm Deborah, and this is It's Not Just Dogs. And in today's video, I'm going to share some tips with you on how to make bath time better when your dog hates it. I know. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Ah. There we are. And so he and him. There we go. Oh. Okay, I think we're in place. I sure hope you can see him come this way. Yeah, because he is hairy. So, normally we bathe him outside. It's a little chilly. It's been raining, but sun is out, so I do think we'll bathe him inside. It's quite interesting, but first we have to de-air him. Ooh, and he'll do about anything for a treat, luckily. <laughs> yes, that's so good. So, but we rub both ways and look at all this hair. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna feel so much better, Anton. You're gonna be so handsome. Ooh, look at that. Look, look, look. Let's see in the rump area. I don't know why. There's our Loomis train. Maybe it's, yeah, we're famous for the trains here in Sacramento. All right. They are everywhere. All right. Rubbing both ways. He's going to feel so much better. And our house is really going to appreciate this because he is hairy. I had some mm -hmm. sweet. Now, next step is the bath. Okay, so here's everything we need. Four buckets of warm water, one bottle of shampoo, and a sponge. <laughs> Looks easy, doesn't it? Well, we'll see. Now, we just need boss. Come around here. Okay, come on, let's go. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Here we go, lady. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on there, bud. All right, that's good. All right. So now you have to get I find that warm water is best. Um, it's soothing and less likely to cause your dog to panic. <laughs> Obviously, boss is too big to put in a bathtub. And even if I had a shower, which I don't, the mental picture of a 106-pound dog who barely fits in a bathroom, let alone a tub, panicking, trying to escape. Ah! Bull in the china closet, right? Like magic. Okay. So slowly pouring the warm water has worked really good for us. And also, I don't use a lot of soap. Tried that once and learned the hard way. It's really hard to get out if you're using buckets. And uh, he seems to smell real good. Either way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come here. Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, it feels good, right? Does it feel good? I don't know. Look at your face. We got this ring. It's your beautiful face. Oh, you're doing so good. You're doing so good, Anthems. Show it. Oh, oh, she got the boy. All right, that feels good. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. This is better as a two man job, but sometimes you just don't have another hand. Right? So, we'll do it this way. You might be wondering why I don't just take Boss to the groomers. 
or to a self-serve. Well, boss loves kids, women, men, workmen, parties, babies, but not other dogs. And that's all in caps. So, don't know why. It's the way he came to us, so this is how we do it. Now you do. Okay. One more time. Yeah? One more. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Ah. In closing, just wanted to let you know, be sure to close your back door if you're going to do this outside and your dog is wet and escaping. Very good point. Uh, second point, probably a really good idea to have a... Um, someone to help you with this if you've got a 106 pound dog who doesn't like water. Um, this was my first time trying it alone and I don't think I'll do it again. <laughs> but he is dry, I am dry, and now my floors are dry <laughs> and clean. So we're all clean and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.